We've had the door shut to this bathroom for over three years, and now it's time to change that. There is so much work that needs to be done. I honestly just can't even believe the amount of work. I was so excited back then, and little did I know how long everything was going to take to make this home functional so we could finally get around to working on this bathroom. The moment we moved in, we started a little bit of demo on this bathroom. So this is what the bathroom looks like currently, right after we moved in. The only new thing is we put this light fixture up, but this is all gonna go. Um, linoleum floor, this was a wall heater, and then this is the funky bath. Turns out that the pipes under here are completely corroded to where he can't even turn the water off to start the demo. So we're gonna get all of that out of here right now so the demo guys can come in here and rip this thing out. It's foaming sure right there. I, I always do that, sorry. <laughs> and we have the water turned off because we had the house repiped when we first moved in here. And then Grant had started some of the demo on this bathtub. It does not have a shower head, it's only a bath. So we're gonna turn that into a bath shower. We decided to hire some guys to demo the bathroom and all the work was done within two hours. We have officially started on the bathroom. And this week we had it completely demoed. We had a team of five guys come in and rip everything out. And Grant just told me we need to order a window to replace that window. Then we are ready to start our design. We decided to use some drawer fronts and door fronts that were left over from a project that were rejected that Grant was working on. So we decided to use these to save some money and then he made all of the drawers and the cabinet. Grant and I are off to Home Depot. We are going to see what they have there. We're gonna try to find toilets, tile, exhaust fan. We were able to find the fan, the toilet, and ordered the window, which took quite a lot of time, but we were happy to get all of that. You don't want snakes up your pant leg. Grant is actually going under the house. There was a loose joist that wasn't tied to anything, so he had to bring a 4x4 four four post down there to tie it all together, and that is why the floor was literally falling through and could not support the bathtub. So that was something that he had to do before we could go further on the project. No, I'm not helping you, I'm sorry. No. Getting the whole entire bathroom rewired, that's number one. As soon as we had the floor reinforced, I had the electrician come and the plumber came and put in this new tub and rough plumbed. We are off to floor and decor to get some tile and floor and decor for the bathroom. And we're in what? Grant's car, which is always such an adventure. Look at all of this, look at this, look at it all. So much tile. We're going with this. After spending what felt like hours in this store, we ended up going between these three different options and picked the light gray tile, and then we went with a white subway tile for the shower and the niche. So we went with a very basic white tile and a gray floor, and you know, that took us like three hours. <laughs> people that would drive a car like this and get tile like that, I guess. So boring. Vanilla. We're basic. I'm just happy we got something and we're done. It's crazy just how much time every little aspect of a project takes. Grant has started insulating and waterproofing. Carbon fiber, lightweight, DeWalt stapler. Linked below. What was the last Ooh, brand? That felt so good. <laughs> What was the one that you didn't like? Error. This is a cheap one. A cheap one? So this is way better? Half an hour just missing right. A cheap stapler and now I'm gonna save time and I'll make my money back today. Right here in this room. We're making money. Making money right here. How are we making money on I've this project? <laughs> this is happening in our spare time on the nights and weekends. So this project is just taking absolutely forever. But we are slowly chipping away at it and working on it when we can. All the hardy backer is being put down. I'm gonna put it 
put on the glass door. Are you in there? Dude! <laughs> Looking right at me. Uh, I'm gonna put in some blocking. Now, because I don't know anything about insulation, do you actually hook it in somehow or it just sits in there? You can, you can staple it on, but you don't need to. Okay, cool. This project ended up taking us over six months because we were working on it, like I mentioned, in our spare time, but also pay f paying for it as we go and doing everything mostly ourselves, uh, ordering all the supplies ourselves. We did not have a contractor getting everyone in here to work on the things that we could not do ourselves. And then of course, Grant was doing most of the work himself. And so we just worked on it here and there. And I do want to break down some of the costs. The window was around $500. The tub was around another $500. To have the electric done, it was around $400. The plumbing was around $3,000 to get the complete finished product. And then we had to have ducting done, and that was about $40. Tile was around 400 and that was just for the tile alone. That's not including Grant's time and energy to do it. And then of course, there's all kinds of random little things that add up to being a lot of money. So um, wood and the toilet was around 350 and drywall miscellaneous was around 400. So it does just all add up. What's the next step after painting? Um, I could ship out the wall, I could start building the cabinet, or I could start tiling the bath shower. Right here is where I want to put my first tile. This was our first time ever tiling a shower, and man, it was way harder than we thought it was going to be. And Grant did his best and learned along the way, and by the end, he became a pro tiler, in my opinion, and it started to go faster and faster, and finally it was done. I'm the best tiler in this bathroom. The floor tile went really fast. We've laid floor tile in the past in our last home and in my parents' home. I think we did their bathroom, but this went really fast. It's a small bathroom, so you could see we picked a large tile that made it really simple and it was done really quickly. Now we were finally bringing in the cabinet carcass is what Grant calls it. We were ready to have this installed on the wall now that the tile was in, even though we still needed to grout the tile. He wanted to measure where the pipe needed to be cut out on the backside of the cabinet. So we brought it in and measured. It's our anniversary tonight, so we're gonna go out to eat. Grant's continuing to work. 24 hours a day. <laughs> Safety shoes. This is one time when currently has a black toe, but you know. This is, this is one moment where I'd almost prefer to wear shoes and flip flops. At this point, this is when the project started to move a lot faster. So by hooking this in and making sure it's all right, then we were able to grout the tile and Grant stained the cabinet. Cock a little. There you go, like that, and you go, pow! I don't think so. Do you want to do it linear or just like kind of? <laughs> okay. We decided to add shiplap on the wall behind the cabinet and mirror. We thought this would just make it look a little bit more interesting in this bathroom because this is such a small, uh, narrow bathroom. We don't really want to have a lot of decorations or curtains or anything like that. We just wanna keep it as simple as possible. So we thought that shiplap would make it look a little bit more interesting. At this point, we were just waiting for the plumber to come in and do the finished plumbing and add the toilet. Grant is making us a custom set of hooks for the back wall behind the door. And our mirror just arrived. Hooks on. The hooks are going on. I'm so excited. We might be able to use this bathroom tonight. We had to order an extra long shower curtain and liner online. And that's because Grant is tall. So we had the shower head even higher than normal. So we needed to have the curtain higher. 
Now I'm just cleaning the floor because I needed to seal the grout, which is really easy to do. You just put the stuff on, wipe it off after a few minutes. And we did want this grout a lot darker, but this is what it ended up being. We are so happy that this project is finally finished and we can start enjoying this bathroom. We kept it as simple as possible. We ended up going with a shower curtain because glass doors would have added another $3,000 to the project and we just wanted it done. So we went with simple finishes and we found this large mirror online. Most of the products are from Home Depot, Lowe's, or source locally. I can link everything that I can find down below. If you're interested, just ask me a question in the comments. But we are so thankful to have this done and the whole project came out to being around $14,000, which is pretty much what we expected. We were thinking 15, so we saved around a thousand somewhere, but we're so happy to have this done. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button to join our channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.